All right, now once we have reviewed points and we understand that each point is named using its x and its y position, then we can make the jump to um, graphs, actual curves and lines. And if you'll remember, your equations of a curve consist of a rule basically that relates the x values with the y values. It tells you if you use this specific x value then you will get this y value that goes along with it. So our, our directions say for us to determine whether the given points are on the graph of the equation. So for part A we're supposed to figure out if this point negative 2, negative 15 lies on this curve. Well, if it does, then this x value of negative 2 and this y value of negative 15 should work in the equation. So let's see if they do. Instead of y, let's put negative 15. And everywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace that with a negative 2. So that means negative 2 times negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 minus 1. Now let's see if we actually get negative 15 when we simplify that. So when we simplify this, that's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 squared is a 4. And then here 3 times negative 2 would be negative 6 minus 1. So that's negative 15 equals negative 8 minus 6 minus 1, which says negative 8 and negative 6 would be a negative 14 minus 1 is a negative 15. So yes, that if I put in the negative 2 for x and the negative 15 for y, this became a true statement. So that point does lie on that curve somewhere. Now let's do the next one, b. b says the point 3, 10. So let's try the same thing. If we were to replace the y value with 10 and every x value with 3, we would have negative 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 1. And then when we simplify, that would be negative 2 times 6 plus, I'm not, sorry, not 6, that would be 9. 3 squared is 9, so sorry. Plus 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1. So that says 10 equals negative 2 times 9 would be negative 18 plus 9 minus 1. So negative 10 would equal... Let's see, negative 18 plus 9 would be a negative 9, minus 1 would be a negative 10. And these are not the same thing. So when I plugged the 3 and 10 into the equation, I did not get a true statement. So that point does not lie on that curve. For the next point of 0, 1, we're going to repeat the process again, plugging 1 in for y and 0 in in place of x. And let's see if we actually, in fact, get um, a true statement. So that says 1 would equal negative 2 times 0 squared is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, minus 1. So negative 2 times 0 would be 0, plus 0, minus 1. 0 plus 0 minus 1 is negative 1. That is not a true statement. So no, that point does not lie on that curve. And then finally for part D, we have the point 2, negative 3. So here again, repeating the same process. Negative 3 in place of y and replacing x with a 2. Let's see if we get actually a true statement. So it would be negative 3 equals negative 2 times 4, and then 3 times 2 would be 6 minus 1. So negative 3 would equal negative 8 plus 6 minus 1. So negative 3 would equal negative 8 plus 6 would be negative 2, minus 1 is negative 3. That is a true statement. So that point does lie on that curve. So what we found was that A and D both when we plugged in these x values and y values, we got a true statement. So they worked in that equation, and they are actually points on the graph.